Your business website is your own piece of digital real estate. And like any piece of real estate, there's always a little project or two that you can do to make it better. So let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. It's your website home improvement tip from Super Web Pros. Today's website home improvement tip is to use call to actions effectively. As we all know, when you're working on small business or any other type of business, you don't get if you don't ask. You've got to ask for the sale. You've got to be constantly engaging your customers and encouraging them to move forward uh, in their decision-making process. So that's no different on your website. You need to make sure that you have call to actions in the various places of your website. Make sure you're using them effectively. Uh, and you're actually pairing them to where people are at, where your visitors are at on their journey through your website. So if you're on your home page and you're giving them examples of, of primary panes or you're giving them some information, Learn Mores are a great call to action that'll help them uh, be able to get more information that's relevant to their needs. Maybe sign up now for our newsletter, stuff that's gonna keep giving them information. Whereas if you're kind of gearing more toward landing pages and you're moving toward conversion opportunities, you're going to want to uh, have call to actions that are more like download now, buy now, get started. These types of things that are going to be uh, gearing people toward actually making a decision. Either way, make sure that you are gearing your call to actions toward where your customers are on their journey and using those effectively. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to this channel and our blog for more useful tips. And if you're interested in making your small business website the best it can possibly be, come visit us at superwebpros.com.